Hi, you probably know by now that healthcare is one of the fastest growing sectors in the United States. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, in 2018, healthcare employed over 16 million workers. These workers are usually categorized into direct and non-direct patient care. In this video, I will tell you about a non-direct patient care option called Health Information Management. So, what is HIM, or Health Information Management? According to the American Health Information Management Association, HIM is the practice of acquiring, analyzing, and protecting digital and traditional paper medical information, which is vital to providing quality patient care. It is considered to be a combination of business, science, and information technology. What is meant by acquiring, analyzing, and protecting? Well, health information professionals assure that relevant, complete, detailed, and accurate information is collected from patients and is used to make better medical decisions for them. Examples include prior medications, medical history, allergies, tests, all of which are analyzed as clinicians diagnose and create treatment plans for them. Analysis of health information goes beyond an individual patient looking for patterns and trends among a patient population, looking for the efficacy of treatments, medication errors, disease prevention opportunities, and more. In regard to information protection, HIM professionals engage heavily in assuring that only authorized users access the information when needed. Adherence to HIPAA rules, which is a big deal for patients in the U.S., requires a variety of efforts, including training of the staff, protection of health information systems from hackers, and other measures to assure that integrity of health information is maintained. Now, to what extent is HIM a combination of business, science, and technology? Proper information collection, processing, analysis require management of people, resources, and processes. Health information reflects documentation of care, which becomes the basis for medical coding and from there the basis for reimbursement. This requires HIM professionals to have a good grasp of financial concepts and healthcare reimbursement methods. With that knowledge, they become equipped to properly manage the revenue cycle from that very first moment patients present for services and show the insurance card until the facility or providers get paid. Mastery of health-related laws and regulations at the state, federal level, as well as those set forth by accrediting agencies is also a must. That enables organizations to determine the level of compliance and identify opportunities for better compliance if necessary. How about the science aspects? Earlier I mentioned medical coding. Medical coding involves identifying medical diagnosis, treatment, and procedures. These deep analyses require a strong background in clinical and medical science. Additionally, processing of the health data requires excellent knowledge of classification systems, data standards, and data management. By relying on data analysis, we are able to identify opportunities for improvement, engage in quality improvement projects, and population health initiatives. Additionally, data becomes the foundation for research and education so that we can further enhance the scientific knowledge base. The third important aspect is technology. Over 90% of healthcare organizations have implemented electronic health records and almost all healthcare organizations use at least some type of information system or health-related application. HIM professionals are not only expected to use such systems, but also engage in system implementation, integration, and optimization. They are also expected to utilize various technologies for analyzing data in order to improve efficiency, identify trends quickly, and make informed, timely decisions. Now that we've seen a little bit more about HIM, let's talk about Rutgers' bachelor degree in HIM. 
Before coming to our program, students are required to complete some coursework at other schools. So we only accept transfer students that have an overall um, total number of credits at 59. That coursework includes anatomy and physiology, as we saw knowing human body, human disease, and medical treatments is important, math and statistics in this digital era, and use of electronic health records. Uh, it is necessary for HIN professionals to be equipped with computer and analytical skills. English and humanities are also important to build those soft skills that are highly sought after in the workplace. And the last specific piece of coursework is financial accounting, uh, and that is because of our heavy involvement in business revenue cycle and financial aspects, which require that strong background in finance and accounting. So once the students come to Rutgers University, the School of Health Professions, our health information program offers a variety of courses. The majority of them are core and they include data structure, disease processes, legal aspects, performance improvement, data analytics, management, electronic health records, coding, reimbursement, compliance, health informatics, information governance, and more. One important aspect is getting some experience in the field. Our management affiliation course offers students an opportunity to complete 75 hours of practice and observation in a healthcare organization. Our program may be completed mostly online, again with the exception of the management affiliation. The rest of the coursework is 100% online and it can be completed full-time in two years. The total number of credits is 61 and that, in addition to the transfer credits, provides students with 120 necessary to graduate with a bachelor degree in HIM. Something um, that we are also doing is offering three of the courses that are part of the bachelor degree program as transfer courses, potentially transfer courses to the master's degree in health information management or health informatics. We know about the profession, we know what we offer. What can we say about the future? People wonder, with the increase and expansion of technologies, is there still a future for health information managers? Yes, the answer is yes. According to the 2019 projections from the Bureau of Labor Statistics, our profession is expected to grow 11% from 2018 to 2028, which is much faster than the average for all occupations. The demand for health services is expected to increase as population ages, as well as the technology continues to expand. That will actually necessitate, require advanced skills from health information professionals, specifically in areas such as data analytics, privacy and security, national health information infrastructure, artificial intelligence, and data standards. So I hope uh, this brief description provided you with a general idea about health information profession. If you would like to learn more, reach out to us, check us out on the web, or contact the HIM program director. Thank you for listening.